Well, we've all been behind those drivers who hog the left lane. Not only is it irritating, it's illegal too. In KXY Forest, Grace Disler working for you. Grace, you rode along with WSP today. They're cracking down on these so-called left lane loafers. <laughs> Nadine, many Washington state drivers are unaware that it's against the law to drive in the left lane unless you're passing someone. So right now, Washington State Patrol is doing an emphasis patrol to make sure everyone gets the message. Adam Victor Adam 0934. All across the state of Washington, troopers are on the lookout for drivers who are camped out in the left lane. You can see the silver car still just cruising along in the left lane. It didn't take long for Trooper Jeff 70 to spot someone. Hi, right, see your driver's license, please. According to the law, on any roadway with two or more lanes of traffic moving in the same direction, all drivers must drive on the right except to pass, move over to allow traffic to merge, or when preparing to turn left. And you're in the left lane the entire time, okay? The left lane is designed for passing, and when you're not passing, you're required to move to the right. Often people who are pulled over say they weren't aware of the law. Try to educate folks. Most folks that I stop, again, they're, they don't do it on purpose. They're, they're just driving and uh, not really paying attention. But Trooper 70 says it's not just annoying for other drivers. It can be unsafe, too. The left lane is used primarily, obviously, for passing and uh, a lot of times for emergency vehicles, which are required um, to be in the left lane when they're using their emergency lights. The purpose of these emphasis patrols is education, but cruising in the left lane can cost you. A warning today for the left lane violation, $136 in the state of Washington for failure to keep right. And last year, the Washington State Patrol pulled over almost 14,000 people for this left lane violation. Reporting live in Spokane tonight, Grace Ditzler, KXLY 4 News.